What is up guys, my name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to RC Vlog. Today guys, we're finally driving the X-Max. I'm sorry that I haven't done very many X-Max videos so far. Things just kept happening, it was raining, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that content, but I promise we're getting back to driving the X-Max. We're gonna drive for the first time. Look, I got that package in the other day. Can you see it down there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that one's gotta be opened up soon. That's from a, actually, I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but. Today I'm going to tell you guys, not only am I going to drive my X-Max for the first time, but I'm going to tell you guys whether you should run 6S or 8S on the X-Max. So the newer X-Maxes are 8S capable. When I say 8S, I'm talking about 8 cell lipos. Um, that was the first big decision I had to make whenever I ran my uh, my X-Max. So I'll tell you what I, what I decided to do. All right, so to cut straight to the chase, I'm going to run mine on 6S. I'm going to run it on 6S and this is why. I actually talked to the guys at Traxxas a few guys that have the X-Max, and they all said the same thing. They all recommended me run it on 6S. It can obviously handle 8S, but you're not gonna notice that much difference, and it's got so much power anyways, they said you don't really need it. Now with that said, I did buy the setup for the 8S, and I did this so I can compare whether the 6S or 8S, like the speed differences, and to kind of prove out whether what they told me is pretty accurate. So. I personally don't like to beat the crap out of my vehicle, so 6S makes more sense to me. I had to get these gigantic batteries because they said that the 5000 3S batteries could potentially puff. They might not be able to support it. So these are the 6700 3S, uh, 4S batteries. I'm sorry, the 5000 4S batteries may puff. Um, these are the gigantic 4S batteries. So these are actually made for the X-Max, so this should be plenty enough and this should do a sufficient test and we'll see how it is with 8s but for today on my first run i'm gonna run it on 6s the reason why i'm starting with 6s is because i think if i go 8s and it's super fast i feel like this is gonna feel super slow so at least it'll be like stepping up you know so let me throw these in there and run this thing for the first time oh <clears throat> here we go it's never gonna be this clean again Quick side note, if you run it on 3S, you gotta put those uh, battery spacer things that come with the car. That's it? Oh, okay, one more time. Oh. 
So there you have it guys. Um, it was freaking awesome. It was super plush, like super plush. The first thing I noticed is it doesn't roll. Like it does body roll, but it doesn't actually roll over. Um, it's so big and heavy. It's like whenever it starts to get up on its edge, it will just kind of slide, like the tires will just give. So I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't go like full throttle and like jerk it over to see if I could roll it over. But I was going pretty good speeds and turning and I was really kind of seeing how far it could go. I don't think that I could roll it if you, I guess maybe if you're off-road, but on the cement, it just, it gives too much. So it's super easy to drive, super plush. You saw me going down the stairs over there. It was like, it kind of just floats on top, going off the ledges, super easy to drive and it absorbs everything. It's kind of a, a catch 22 because it's super easy to drive. I feel like I should just give it over to my kids, but it's so freaking big that if you hit somebody, it's gonna do some damage or it's gonna break whatever's in its way or it's gonna break itself. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, I hit myself in the shin. It hurt really bad. I was walking behind the car as I was going back in the garage and I go to slam on the brake and the car was already stopped so it went in reverse and slammed in my shin. Yeah, I was um, rubbing my shin for a good maybe two, three minutes. It hurt really, really bad. In regards to top speeds on 6S versus 8S, on 6S, I was between, I believe I was between 33 and 35 on, 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 that was 6S, that was 6S. 6S between 33 and 35 on 8S, I was between, actually I was running about 41, 42, but I ran the batteries straight out of the box. I didn't charge them, so that was not a fully charged battery. I'm going to assume that it's about 43-ish. Uh, everything I've seen online, 8S top speed out of the box is 43-ish. This is out of the box speeds, um, out of the box steering. So... I guess the rule of thumb is you're going to get about 10 more miles an hour out of an 8S bat, uh, run in the 8S configuration. I'm definitely going to run mine on, on 6S for now because you can tell, like, there's so much power with 8S. Like, you can really tell that it that there's pieces that are really getting pushed to the limits. I don't want to break it right off the bat. I will run it on it so you guys can see what it's like, but on my first few runs out, whenever I actually go bashing, I am going to run it on 6S. Um, to see if there's things, you know, the things that I'm doing, like the obstacles and jumps I'm doing, and then I'll run on 8S and see if there is a huge difference. Uh, in regards to top speeds, like high speed runs, the car floats. It doesn't get wobbles. It's not speed wobbles, it floats. It's like whenever you hit top speeds, it kind of does this thing um, if you barely touch the steering. So it's almost like it, it's weird. It, it literally, it's like it's floating in, in air and it's like you, you don't have a lot of reaction, which makes sense. Um, but if you're going down the street, be really careful because if it starts floating towards a car or a mailbox or something, it's going to continue floating that way. Even if you jerk it over it, it's a, it floats a lot. So other than that, it's a super cool car. I'm super excited to take it out. Uh, again, I'm going to run on 6S first. My recommendation, I did actually check the manual and it did not, it did not list the 4S 5000. So don't run the 4S 5000 that you run in the max in this car, uh, run the 4S 6700s if you want to run uh, 8S and 8S configuration. So I hope you liked this video. I hope this helped. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.